Resurgence here, this is the best settings in my opinion kind of a video. Uh, it's made to maximize your performance, so if you're a detail guy and into graphics, it's probably not going to be for you. However, there are some details in NVIDIA and in Windows settings that you can probably do yourself to maximize your performance, even at higher graphic. Um, because I feel like on this game, the optimization is just bad. Um, you could have the best system in the world and your FPS is still going to lag compared to other video games or RPG shooters. Um, so I wanted to just cover those basics uh, for you guys to do in your Windows settings, in your NVIDIA settings and in game. So you can get a grasp of how I run things and um, how it works for me and I can average sort of 144 plus FPS all the time. So to jump straight into it guys, these are the settings I'm running in game. Brightness on 10, contrast 15, VSync off, frame limit on custom FPS limit 145. The reason I have a custom FPS limit is because I want a stable FPS. I don't want to just sort of drop to 70 and then spike back to 150. I don't want it like that. I prefer it just being um, stable at 145 because I have a 144 hertz monitor. So if you have a 180 hertz monitor, and ideally, um, you know, you want to go to 180 um, or increase it to the amount that you have as per your monitor. It could be 60 hertz, 75, 120, uh, adjust it as per uh, your monitor's requirements. As for the, all the the other like stuff is pretty much like straightforward, low on everything. Uh, 75 ray scale, it helps with FPS quite a bit. Pretty much like 30 to 20 FPS from 100 to 75, which is a massive deal. Um, if you want the game to be a little bit clearer, you can go 100%, but I prefer 75. Sharpening, seven, particle detail, of course, everything else is low. Sub surface scattering is off. Um, Anisotropic filtering is on one times. Um, I don't really find this useful at all. Um, I feel like it's just, yeah. I mean, if you're going for FPS, if you're going for those headshots, you're going for that good gameplay, you want to take that off. Parallax mapping, yes, because I essentially do want some sense of depth for additional geometry. It just means like it makes absolutely no sense. So we're going to turn that off. Ambient occlusion, depth of field off. Of course, when you're aiming, you want to be able to sort of see your surroundings rather than have it blurred out. Object detail, again, extra streaming distance. There's no point using this. Um, it really isn't. Like you're fighting mostly medium and like close range, so um, even as a sniper player, you don't need to take this into account as much. I just feel like it knocks your FPS down and you don't really need it. Neutral land lighting, of course, off. Lens flare off. Vigne effect off. Water quality low because we don't give a shit about water. Chromatic aberration off. Project texture resolution 128. You can go 256, which is fine, but 128 is perfectly fine for the optimization of max performance. Terrain low, anti-aliasing medium. So that is a sort of settings in game. I'm going to be running through what I have set up in Nvidia and in Windows for you guys now. If you go into NVIDIA control panel, you will see the first setting, adjust image settings with preview. The first thing you want to do is make sure that this is on performance. You can use use my preference and by standard, it's normally on quality. Just reduce it to performance and leave it. Next, go into manage 3D settings. Once you're in manage 3D settings, copy exactly what I have in my settings. Next, you wanna go into display settings, scroll down, click graphic settings, and then make sure your variable refresh rate is on and your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is also on. Next thing you wanna do is download NVIDIA Profile Inspector. This is a much more detailed version. Uh, it goes a little bit more in depth and there are certain things that you need to choose in this. In this particular video for FPS, it's only one of the options that you need to change. You need to go into maximum pre-rendered frames, click it, change it to two, and then apply on the top right hand corner and then exit. The last and final thing you wanna do is go into taskbar and type in gaming, go into your game mode settings, make sure game mode is turned on. And then you wanna go into captures and make sure record in the background while playing is turned off and record audio when I'm recording the game is turned off. That sums up the video guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you guys can benefit from these settings. Uh, I feel like it will help you with every game that you play, if you're really hunting for high FPS, these are going to be the settings that you'd want to run. 
Um, so thank you so much for staying, watching. As for the content on this YouTube channel and the future of this channel, it will be Division related. I am uploading some Valhalla clips every now and then because I'm absolutely bored out of my head. But there's nothing really to upload on Division 2 at the moment. Uh, it's quite a dry meta. I think TU12 is what we're looking for at the moment. So I'm kind of just waiting on that and uh, I'll be uploading more videos accordingly. Uh, if so, I might upload another build video because I've just acquired a few pieces for a secret build that I've been working on. So I might upload that for you guys so you guys can take a look. But besides that, thank you so much. If you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.